Hey there friends, Rick from Top Crop Fertilizers here to give you some quick facts on foliar feeding. In the next 15 minutes or so, we want to cover some issues with plant nutrition, foliar feeding versus top dressing, how foliar feeding works, what Kugler KQXRN is, look at some common Kugler foliar products, how to apply them, their cost, and some results. So let's get started. Issues with plant nutrition. One common issue we have in Western Canada is higher pH or alkali soils. In these soils, calcium interacts with a number of nutrient ions, making them unavailable to plants. Perhaps the most important of these nutrients is phosphorus, being a macronutrient that plants require in higher amounts. In lower pH soils, phosphorus gets tied up with aluminum and iron. This graph shows you nutrient availability in different pH soils. Another issue affecting plant nutrition is compacted soils. They are of concern because they will hinder the plant's root growth, reducing its ability to access soil available nutrients, as illustrated in the picture. The last issue we'll mention is soil makeup. Okay, we're not talking about making the soil look pretty, but the relationship of the amount of sand, silt, and clay in the soil, and how that affects nutrient availability. A soil's cation exchange capacity, commonly referred to as CEC, is a measurement of the soil's ability to hold on to cations things like iron, copper, zinc, and manganese. These cations have a positive charge. Clay soils have a high negative charge and therefore a high CEC, whereas sandy soils have a low CEC and nutrients are more likely to be washed away. You can see your soil CEC on your soil test report as highlighted in the green area. How foliar feeding works. The foliar feeding is not a new concept. It's been around since 1844. You can't supply all of your nutritional needs through foliar feeding. It should be used as part of a complete nutrition plan for your field to go along with soil applied fertilizers. Now, since the introduction of Roundup Ready varieties, there's been a lot of improvement in genetics on many crops. There are now newer varieties of crops that are taking up nutrients into later stages of crop development. The graph pictured shows how canola is taking up nutrients in different stages of growth. Look at the phosphorus uptake in red. Nearly half of what the plant is taking up is after it's 50% potted. How foliar nitrogen nutrition works. A foliar application increases chlorophyll on the leaf, which is the green pigment of the plant. The chlorophyll acts like a tiny little greenhouse. It helps to trap photons from the sun on the leaf longer. We're talking about nanoseconds longer, but doing this dramatically increases the rate of photosynthesis. Increased photosynthesis will increase the water and nutrient uptake through the roots. This in turn increases the size of the leaves and biomass, which then results in more photosynthesis. Now this is critical to understand how this works. So let's just go over it again. When we foliar feed with our Kugler XRN based products, there are two modes of action taking place. One, because of the design of XRN, some nutrients will feed directly into the leaf through the polar cuticular pores. We'll talk about this more later. And two, perhaps more important to understand is that when we foliar feed, it's not the amount of nutrients that we're putting on the leaf. For example, we might only be putting three pounds of nitrogen on an acre, but it's how those nutrients increase the chlorophyll production and photosynthesis to make the leaves bigger and greener to collect more sunlight, which, which gets the plants to uptake more water and nutrients in the soil through the roots. Top dressing is not the same as foliar feeding. A common top dress fertilizer is UAN, or urea ammonium nitrate. Now nearly half of this is ammonium nitrate, which is a pure salt. And salts do not foliar feed, and they can cause leaf burn. Plants with leaf burn are more susceptible to disease pressure. An effective foliar product will have molecules that are small enough to feed through the waxy cuticle layer on the leaf and stimulate photosynthesis by increasing the chlorophyll on the leaf. Some benefits to foliar feeding. Radioisotope studies and university studies have shown that it is more effective to foliar feed a plant. The chart shows what one pound of nutrient foliar applied is equal to if it were soil applied. Now this is a function of the increase in the photosynthesis and the plants taking in more nutrients from the soil, not just what is applied foliar. Foliar feeding is the most effective way to feed micronutrients. They are more easily utilized because they don't have to be dissolved by moisture and go into the soil solution. 
Let's look at Kugler KQXRN, a great foliar product. So the base for all of the Kugler foliar products is KQXRN, which stands for Kugler Quality Extended Release Nitrogen. It is a 28% nitrogen, and of that, 72% is slow release. It is a urea based, but is unlike top dress fertilizers, it is not urea in water, but a low salt polymer solution that contains no water. These complex polymer chains are broken down by UV light, giving it the slow release and preventing the burning of leaves. What is unique about KQXRN? Well, one thing is it's sticky. There's nothing else out there that has the stickiness quality that keeps it on the leaf surface for up to 35 days. thus allowing the UV light to break down the slow release nitrogen where it can penetrate the waxy layer of the leaf. Unlike some top dress products, it's non-corrosive. Here's a picture illustrating that, illustrating that. Each bottle has a nail in it and the dates that the nail was put in. On the left is 32% UAN and the nail is all but gone. Next to it is eight parts UAN with two parts XRN. And you can see there is some corrosion, but less. And then you have straight XRN from 2011 and another XRN containing product, KS2075 from 2014. And they are both still clear with no corrosion of the nail. And this picture was taken in 2020. XRN is compatible with most chemicals, making it the perfect delivery system. You get faster and improved weed control while giving your crop a nutrient boost all in one application. Let's look at some of the common products, how to apply them, the pricing, and some results. We already talked about XRN and know that it's a straight 28% nitrogen with 72% slow release. Now this fits well with high nitrogen using crops like corn. It should be applied at herbicide timing at two gallons an acre which works out to roughly $17 an acre. The picture on the right shows a field that was sprayed with glyphosate. Now the entire field was sprayed, but the left side was tank mixed with half a gallon per acre of XRN. This picture is seven days after application. Quite a noticeable difference in the speed of the weed kill. Let's look at some of the other products now. Remember that XRN is the base for all of these other products. First up is KS2075. This might be our most common product used in Western Canada because it works great on so many crops, including cereals, canola, and pulses. It's 20% nitrogen, of which 72% is slow release. But in addition to nitrogen, you also get two other important nutrients. It is 7.5% potassium and 5% sulfur. You apply it at herbicide timing at 1.5 gallons an acre, and the rough cost is $14 an acre. Here's a trial that was done in Arborg, Manitoba on Liberty Canola. The field had the same base fertility program, 120 pounds of N, 50 pounds of FOSS, 30 pounds of potassium, and 50 pounds of sulfur. The check ran 55 bushels an acre, and where KS2075 was applied at two gallons an acre, the yield increase was 15 bushels an acre to 70. Just to note, the 2075 also had some micronutrients added to it. KS1022 is 10% nitrogen, 20% phosphorus, and 2% potassium, with only 30% slow-release nitrogen. This product works well on crops that require a lot of phosphorus, such as pulses. You apply it at herbicide timing at 1.5 gallons an acre, and the approximate cost is $11 an acre. XRN2530 is a product used for a protein bump in wheat, similar to the base XRN, it is a straight nitrogen product. It has an analysis of 2500, but it is only 30% slow release nitrogen. The high amount of quick release nitrogen is what stresses the plant resulting in the protein in increase. You apply it at soft dose stage of the wheat at one and a half gallons per acre, and the cost is around $10 an acre. Here's a trial done in Raymore, Saskatchewan that applied XRN 2530 at soft dough at two gallons an acre. The result was a protein bump over 4%, allowing them to get number two grade versus feed grade, resulting in an extra $2.10 a bushel. Now a protein bump over 4% is high. Uh, we would typically see a one to 2% increase. Now we'll switch into what we refer to as plant health products. When we talk about the Kugler plant health products, we're talking about resisting disease. 
They're not registered as a fungicide, but they have the same mode of action as many brand name fungicides. The fungicides don't kill anything, but what they do is prevent the plant from being infected with disease spores. The Kugler plant health products combine XRN with chloride as shown in the top picture. The bottom pictures are the chemistry in two brand name fungicides. Notice they too have chloride in their structure. The Kugler plant health products have switched over a million acres in North America from fungicides for a few main reasons. One, you have a longer application window because of the stickiness and slow release of XRN. Two, you get the similar protection against disease pressure, and in some cases, a larger amount of chloride. Three, it's typically apply about two thirds the cost. And four, you provide your crop with a nutrient boost at the same time. We have two plant health products. First is KS178C. This is 17% nitrogen and 8% chloride. It works great in most crops, including cereals, pulses, and canola. The second is KS153, which is 15% nitrogen with 3% phosphorus, 3% potassium, and 4% chloride. This works well in crops that are taking up phosphorus or potassium late in the season, like canola and pulses. Timing for application is at fungicide timing for the crop, or slightly earlier as it will stick to the leaves offering extended protection. The common application rate is one and a half gallons an acre, and the rough cost is 10 to $11 an acre, with 153C being about 40 cents a gallon more than 178C. Here's a field trial done on clear-filled canola that used 178C versus Lance and a check strip where there was a gain of 12 bushels an acre. Now just a few quick notes on the products and prices. We've covered the main products that are used in Western Canada, but there are some other products available. If interested to see what else is there, you can check out the Kugler website or talk to your local top crop dealer or rep. The, price, the prices provided are accurate as of May 2020, and there will be some variances to them based on location due to different freight amounts and on the order size, buying totes versus bulk orders. Products can be ordered in bulk, which has a 5,000 US gallon minimum, and the product comes out of Rapid City, South Dakota. Or they can be ordered in totes that are 265 US gallons. These will be FOB, one of our stocking locations. Now there is a tote fee of $265 per tote, but you do get a rebate of $100 when it is returned in good condition. There are a couple of additives that are commonly tank mixed with Kugler's low salt starter fertilizer. We'll cover off the starter fertilizer in a different video, but these can also be mixed with foliar products to help get the most out of your application or to treat deficiencies. One is called KS Maximum. Now this is a micronutrient package that contains copper, iron, manganese, zinc, and boron. We mentioned earlier how foliar feeding is the most effective way to apply micronutrients. Adding this to your tank mix is an easy way to apply them. It is typically blended with another product, such as KS2075, at the plant, and then applied at a rate of a quarter liter an acre, which works out to about $1.75 an acre. The other product is called KHK Pack. This product has a small amount of phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur, but is also 20% humic acid. Humic acid is a high carbon content building block of organic matter that does a number of things, like unlock pH bound nutrients, increase the cation exchange capacity of the soil, and increase microbial activity. This is also typically blended at the plant with another product and applied at a rate of half a liter an acre, which works out to about $3 an acre. Listed here are some of the main functions of different nutrients in the plant. This concludes our presentation. And just to quickly review what we talked about, we mentioned some issues with plant nutrition, talked about foliar feeding versus top dressing, went over what the Kugler KQXRN is, and we looked at some of the commonly used products, how to apply them, the pricing, and some of the results. For more information, you can visit our website, topcrop.ca, that's crop with a K, and there you can find your local dealer or top crop rep to answer any questions you might have. If you want a more in-depth presentation, we have a webinar recording on our YouTube channel you can check out along with videos on our other products. Thank you for watching our quick facts on foliar feeding.